I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. The exercise is called Random Pulls. We're going to pull 13 or 14 random tiles and practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, and then 14. We have a couple of jokers, a flower, east and west, singles. We have one eight nine in cracks, singles, a two dot. Then we have two four five seven nine in bands, singles, all singles. This is gonna be a challenge because we have two jokers and you can't pass jokers. I don't know why anybody would want to anyway. So these are the tiles we have to work with. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would focus on evens. Even though we have a gap with no six, I think I would keep the one because we might even be able to play a year hand. So I think that's what I would do here. The challenge is with the pass. These are all big odds. This would be a really risky pass if we did something like that. I don't know if I would do that. I think I would either focus on twos with east and west, a year hand with east and west, or even, so maybe break this up a little bit with a one. Focus on evens with east and west, maybe a year hand, or east and west with twos. I think that's what I would focus on right there. If you would do something different, right? Pull one and what you would do with these tiles. <laughs> Singles. We have a joker, a flower, a north. White and green singles. Then we have six, seven, nine in dots, two, nine in bands, one, five, six in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around these nines. Maybe like numbers with news and nines. We could also potentially play five, seven, nine dragon with this flower. Since we have a flower, I would focus on hands with flowers around the nines. Seven, nine. We have these tiles to pass. One, six. 
I don't like to pass two year tiles if I don't have to. I think that's what I would pass. Focus on probably nines, like numbers with nines, and news probably. We could even do like numbers with nines and dragons. And this would be plan B with the flower, five, seven, nine, dragon. Next pass. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write pull two and let us know what you would do with these tiles. We have a joker, a white dragon, a green dragon, and an east. Singles. Three, five, eight, and bams with a pair of threes. Pair of four cracks. Two, four, eight, and dots with a pair of fours. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would first focus on the multiples, three, four, four. We could potentially do mixed suit Kongs, two, three, four, but we have no flowers. And that's a pair gap, so you can't use a joker there. The other thing I was thinking is to play something using the fours, in which case I think I would focus on evens or like numbers. So I would keep these and pass these. Building around the fours. This is gonna be a little bit risky, primarily with three, five, and one suit. We could make that a little better by letting the east go. Or keep the east for east and west with fours and let the green dragon go. That even would be a little risky since this is the corresponding dragon to Bams. There's really equal risk. So let's see, I think I, think I would probably use the east. Keep the, the white dragon for two, four, six, eight with dragons or maybe like numbers with dragons. That green dragon doesn't work with like numbers. So we could maybe pass, let's see, east with three green. If you would do something different with these tiles, write pull three and what you would do. American Mahjong is a game of multiples, even though there are singles and pairs and even one suit hands on the card. Primarily, 80%, in fact, of the hands on the card use Pungs, Kongs, and Quints. So if you build around multiples, you can optimize your potential to win. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.